about the series by a large ominous balloon called Rover. Rover was built by the prop people. It came out of the water to move along the seashore on wheels. And unfortunately, when the day came for it to do that, it didn't do it. Bernie was the producer production manager. He kept looking at his watch and looking up at the sky and he saw this very peculiar behavior by this white balloon looking object. Patrick took one look at it and said, that's it, that's Rover. Number six is dead. What? Rover got him. I look back on the making of The Prisoner and the honor of having participated in and working with such a tremendously talented giant of a man is one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life. I wish most things fell into that category. The pen is mightier than the sword. I think Pat McGoon suffered certainly in the way that any artist who really does expose himself to such a degree, I mean, it was like, this is what I think and feel, and I'm going to have to tell all. I mean, there were things he didn't want to touch upon, personal things, but as far as the morality of government goes in our society, he did tell all. He said it. And that's what I find so admirable. Did you get it? What will you do? Less work? And more pay? Thanks! 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 I think McGowan's always thought of himself as an actor rather than um, a Hollywood star, which is perhaps why he turned down James Bond, because it was too commercial for him. He just didn't want to be in a business which he saw as um, shallow, with shallow values. I take it you checked my file regarding hostility? Your files are no concern of ours. Patrick's been involved with um, projects which seem to be similar in nature to The Prisoner. He tends to go for Men in Isolation, who's in Escape from Alcatraz, where number six became number two in that he played a prison warden. Um, and he has lines like, no one must see the prisoner. And uh, it just tends to show that he's still in line with all the themes in the prisoner and still maybe a little bit obsessed by it all. That's me. I think Patrick hasn't given many interviews over the years because he tends to be a bit wary of the, the cult side of fandom. He always told actors in the original series that he would hate to think that fans were um, putting pictures of him on their walls. That, that freaked him out a little bit. Um, which is in line with him being an actor rather than a star. I have nothing to say. Is that clear? Patrick's discussed the idea of a remake, but he's always preferred an extension of the concept. He's always talked about writing, producing and directing, an extension of The Prisoner, taking it on beyond number six, escaping the village. But uh, he's never discussed actually remaking it himself. Who do you represent? Who elected you? To what place or country do you owe allegiance? The contemporary appeal of The Prisoner is not in question, as currently Universal Studios are in development with a big screen production. Some of Hollywood's biggest players are fighting over the coveted role of number six, and many acting greats are penciled to fill the globe chair of sinister number two. There has often been talk of a film version of The Prisoner, and um, part one thinks... Uh, you know, never go back. It, it, it's perfect as it is, just the number of episodes uh, right up to that extraordinary final episode. It's, it's just as it should be. My favourite scene, I think, from The Prisoner is something to do with... It's to do with quartets. It's to do with gangs. Uh, I think the scene where they're escaping from the village is... And it's this motley crew of people. I mean, uh, the four of them are probably the oddest gang since Pinky's gang in, in Brighton Rock. Uh, so I think that's my favourite scene with it, throwing things out of that lion's cage which is travelling down, uh, down the motorway to London. When he uh, changes himself back to being right-handed by grabbing the lampstand and deliberately giving himself an electric shock. The way he looks, the way he walks, everything is about him is 
it's just cool. My favourite moment in it is at the end of Arrival. He, he walks along in front of number six's door, clicks his fingers, and the door opens. He just sort of spins around and in he goes. The Prisoner has influenced a whole genre of risk-taking surreal programming. For example, Twin Peaks, The X-Files and The Outer Limits. Enigmatic number one never appears in the program, but for fans and new viewers alike, this dubious position is securely held by Patrick McGowan. Immerse yourself in number six's world of psychological confusion, paranoia and psychedelia. Be seeing you. 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 <laughs> and Sci-Fi will be showing more of those interviews at a later date. And you can check out the six of one website, but keep it Sci-Fi now for the series premiere of The Prisoner. Sci-Fi series premiere of The Prisoner begins next on Sci-Fi.